and welcome back. So today's going to be my March favourite and I'm really excited to be filming this because I've had a lot of makeup that I've just been loving over the last month so I'm really excited to share those products with you and it's also an absolutely beautiful day so I'm going to film this video and then I'm going to go in the garden with the puppies and just chill for the afternoon. But yeah I'm just going to get on and show you some of the things that I've been loving and would recommend. I'm going to start off with skincare. Um, my skin just seems to be going back and forth at the moment. I don't know what it is but it will go to being really really good and then just breaking out completely on my chin area then really good and then just, I don't know why um, but one of the masks I've been really enjoying using um, over the last month and one that I just feel like has actually been working really well with my skin is the Sip and Glory No Clogs Allowed mask this stuff is really really good it feels so incredible on the skin I was really impressed by this stuff it comes out kind of like a whitish greyish colour and you basically rub it onto your skin and it kind of has got like exfoliating bits in it as well and then you basically just add a little bit of water and like rub it in more and you can feel it just exfoliating your skin and it just feels so good but also the mask then turns blue and it starts to heat and ugh, it just feels amazing my skin afterwards feels really really nice really refreshed and so so clean so I've been really really enjoying this and even though my skin um, like I said it seems to be going back and forth I think it might be a hormonal thing um, I've been really enjoying using this product it is a really really nice mask and I love it I just feel like it's doing so much more than the simple mask I used to use so yeah I would highly highly recommend you check this mask out if you haven't already and you can get these in boots so good love it um that's all the skincare I've got um, no that's a lie it's not all the skincare I've got I've got one more thing um this is a new eye cream this is the benefit it's potent eye cream I got this in a set a while ago um, it was kind of like, I bought the professional and it came with a mini bad gal, um, no not bad gal, I can't remember, but it was like another mini primer and it came with this to try and I'd been running low on my normal eye cream so I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go, I really really like this, it's not something that I'm sure I would have actually picked up, I don't know why because I just don't think I've heard as much about it as other eye creams but this feels really really good on the skin it sinks in really quickly like really quickly and it's just thick but it's not like overly heavily thick and it just works wonders and I feel like my eyes just feel a bit more bright and awake so I really really like this eye cream it's really nice and I think um, I might get this in the full size because I've been enjoying it that much so yeah this is really really good and this is a sample size this tiny tiny pot and this has lasted me the entire month and I've still got loads left um, so that's really really good you need a little bit so yeah really like that it's got a big thumbs up from me um, so the, yeah that is it for all of the skincare now moving on to um, nail polish I'm gonna do nail polish I've had one nail polish this month that's really stood out um, I've been really enjoying um, green and blue nail polish this month um, I don't know why I think it's just because spring has sprung a little bit and green nail polish is just something that I absolutely adore in springtime um, along with like corals and pinks and stuff but this one I've been wanting to get my hands on this for so long and I couldn't find it anywhere so I ended up going on Amazon and they had it there and this is the Essie's first timer this was released last year I think this time last year and I couldn't get it then either it's just I don't know why um, but it just seems to not be as widely available here um, well where I live anyway but I managed to track it down on Amazon and it arrived and I think I pinked my nails with this twice this month which just shows how much I love it it's gorgeous it's like a really nice kind of almost minty green but it's not got that like sharpness of mint if that makes sense it's kind I can't really explain it but it is absolutely beautiful I really really love this and I can understand why Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi loves it so much because it really is like the perfect green nail polish so yeah if you're trying to get your hands on this or any from the resort collection from last year because they had some really beautiful colours last year um try Amazon because they've got them all so yeah really really good love that um, another thing that I ordered online because I couldn't get hold of it in the UK, um, I just find that America has such a wider selection of makeup products than we do, which sucks, but you know, what can we do apart from order online? So this one I think I got off eBay, and this is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo Metal um, in Barely Branded. Um, we, I've not seen these, so I don't think we have these here, and this is just a really gorgeous kind of like yellow toned neutral shade I'm wearing it today 
and it is just absolutely beautiful really nice really natural great under sort of like neutral makeup and i've been really enjoying this and what i love about these color tattoos is that they're great as a base um which is what i've done today but they're also really good to wear on their own um because sometimes if you're in a rush in the morning or you just really can't be bothered to be doing a really good um eyeshadow look you can just whack this on, put some scar on, and you're good to go. So yeah, I love these. They're so good. They last all day, and they come in so many colours, especially if you check um, Amazon or eBay, you'll find even more. So yeah, these are amazing, and I love that. I definitely want to get some more um, from the Metal line, see what they've got. Um, I'm going to stick with eyes, and I'm going to be showing you a new eyeshadow palette. Um, I think the packaging is different in the UK to America, but this is the... Um, Maybelline Eyeshadow Quad Diamond Glow in Coral Drama, which is this eyeshadow quad here. And I've heard Casey or It's Blondie rave about these, um, as well as Makeup by Ally. And I thought, you know what, I don't try enough drugstore um, eyeshadows. I'm kind of a little bit of a snob <laughs> when it comes to eyeshadows. I always go for higher end. I just, I don't know why, it's just because I love Urban Decay and MAC eyeshadows. So I've always gone higher end. But I thought I'd give these a go because so many people have been raving about them and they are really, really good. I'm really impressed with these and I've worn this quad probably about three or four times um, over the last week, to be honest. I just keep reaching for it and it's just so beautiful. It's like a neutral quad because I really am a neutrals girl. I did used to be a colours and brights girl, but um, I think as I've sort of got older, I've gone now to more, more towards neutrals more than anything else. I don't really wear any... any bright colours as often anymore but this what I like about this is that it does have that pop of coral shade which is this one here and it's just so pretty and it looks really really good they're really soft and they blend really well I was really impressed with these so I definitely want to see what other shade selections they have and get some more because they're really affordable and really really good um so yeah I would recommend these um especially because I think in boots at the moment makeup's three for two so yeah definitely go and check these out um, and then again, I've got quite a lot of eye products this month. Um, eyeliner wise, I've been loving my Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. I don't know why, but this month I've been reaching for nude eyeliner constantly. I just think because, you know, we're getting into spring and stuff, I want my eyes to just sort of be a bit more awake and wider and stuff like that. So um, I've been loving this, reaching for it almost every day, and it is such a good eyeliner perfect nude shade and I raved about these so many times on my channel and I will continue to because they're that good. Um, if I ever need a new eyeliner I instantly go to the Rimmel Scandalized section of the drugstore because they're just so good and they really do rival high end. So yeah, been loving that. Um, for liquid liner, um, as you guys know, I wanted to try out a couple of new liquid liners because as much as I love my Urban Decay liquid liner, and that really is holy grail for me, um, this one um, is also really, really good. And I just wanted to try out some new things, you know, see what else was in the drugstore and stuff like that because, um, you know, it's good to try new things and I wanted to see if there was anything else that was good and maybe cheaper. Um, so I've been loving the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim Eyeliner. Now, I'm not going to lie, this took me a little while to get used to because I'm very used to normal liquid liner, um, as in, you know, literally like liquid. Um, whereas this is a felt tip. Um, so this did take me um, probably about a week to get used to. But now that I'm used to it and I, could, I know how to work with it, I really, really love it. This doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't smudge last all day. And it's really, really good to just sort of do a thin line or you can thicken up. Um, it is a little bit tricky to get the wing. Uh, again, I had to work on that, but it works. It's really good and I highly recommend it. And these L'Oreal eyeliners are really, really cheap. I think they were on a deal when I got mine. They were like two for less than 10 pounds. So yeah, they're fantastic eyeliners, really, really good. So if you cannot really afford to go high end with eyeliner and you want one that isn't gonna go anywhere and it's gonna be, you know, sort of decently easy to work with, try these. Um, I love them, I think they're really, really good. So I definitely think I'll repurchase that when I run out because I'm one of those people that's always kind of had like one eyeliner and never any others. And what if that one goes missing, you know? So I'm trying to sort of like keep a few in my collection just in case I run out and one goes missing. But yeah, really, really good. Highly recommend it. Go and buy it. And then <clears throat> for mascara this month, I have been trying out a new one from L'Oreal. I seem to have a lot of L'Oreal products um, this month. I've been loving L'Oreal, clearly. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes in the waterproof formula. And I really wanted to just try some new L'Oreal um, 
mascaras because I tried a few of them and really liked them. So I thought I'd try a new one. This is the brush. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Benefit brush. There we are. Slightly apart from the fact that it's tapered at the end. Um, this, again, took me a little while to get used to. Um, probably about two or three um, applications. But I really, really like it. It is one that I feel like I need to you know, work with and build. But it does build beautiful lashes so I really really like this um if you're somebody that doesn't want to spend a while sort of like working with your mascara then maybe not for you um I'd give it a go I don't know why I'm doing that <laughs> um I'd give it a go but I do really really like it I'm wearing it today and I think it is a really good mascara my mum tried this she came over last night and wanted to borrow some makeup and she wasn't too impressed I think she likes sort of like she doesn't really like plastic wands if you know what I mean um but she didn't really get on with it but I definitely think it's worth a try because it's really really nice and I like it I think it's very good um moving on to face products um L'Oreal once again um I think it's because it's three for two in boots and I thought I'd go for a few L'Oreal products because I don't dive into L'Oreal very much um this is a highlighter from L'Oreal this is the I don't know what it's called what is the name of this La Powder Illumined cheese. I don't know. This is what it looks like anyway. Um, let's open that up for you. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of got like a little sort of dome in the middle and it's kind of like all dots and stuff. But um, yeah, this is a basically a highlighter from L'Oreal. I really, really like this because I do think that the drugstore are lacking in the highlighter department. There's not enough highlighters in the drugstore in my opinion and I stumbled across this and I thought hmm that looks really nice, it looks quite natural so I swatched it, really loved it and gave it a go. Um, one thing to note about this is be light with your hand on using this because I kind of got my highlighter brush, swirled it round, put it on my cheekbones and I was like oh my god because I just had this streak of glitter um, and highlight right there so you literally just need to tap your brush in tap it off and sweep it on and it leaves a gorgeous glow to the skin but yeah be light with this because you really don't need a lot um for blush this month this is the Estee Lauder pure color blush in electric pink and I bought this at Bista Village I think and I just never got it out because I wanted to wait for it sort of springtime because I do think it's a bit of a springy colour and this is what it looks like a really really pretty blush um I'd never tried really much from Estee Lauder before um I don't know why I just think it's just never really been something I've really gone and tried much of the stuff from my sister loves Estee Lauder and is always buying things from there but yeah I saw this and wanted to pick it up because the colour was absolutely gorgeous and I really really like it I definitely want to try some more stuff from Estee Lauder because I'm really impressed with this product I do want to try their double wear foundation because I hear Casey or it's Bondi raving about that stuff so definitely want to try that um, I then have the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. As you guys know, I have been loving um, my foundations recently. I seem to be trying out quite a lot and this is the new one to my collection. This is in light porcelain, which is great because before they didn't have my colour. So this has been out for quite a long time and they never had my colour and so I could never try it. And I think they've just finally produced my colour or it's just suddenly come into my drugstore because I could never find it before but this stuff if you've not tried it guys or you were like me and you couldn't get your color is amazing I love this this is probably my new favorite drugstore foundation and it is incredible um really really nice just looks so good on the skin and worth every penny love this stuff Aww. Um, next up is bronzer. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've been just reaching for this this month. I don't know why. Um, I just felt like I wanted to crack this baby out and use it a bit more. Um, you guys have probably all seen it before. It's just a matte bronzer and this stuff is just incredible and I'm reaching it for it all the time because it's just wonderful, really nice, blends well and looks great on the skin. So I've been loving that. And then for lip products, the first one is from Urban Decay and this is the Native Lipstick. And as you guys know, Urban Decay, they get me every time. And I really, really just wanted to try out one of the lipsticks because it was on sale. So this is it. It's just like a really nice, neutral, everyday, nudie pink. Really, really pretty. So if you're looking for a nice natural colour, then I would try Native. And then the last thing is the Rimmel London Colour Rush. 
which is this one here. They, I think this is from the Rita Ora collection. Rita Ora has been working with Rimmel and released some um, lip products, so some new ones of these, and nail polishes. I don't think she's released anything else. I think it's literally just those two things. And this is one of them. This is in the shade I Want Candy, and this is what I'm wearing today. Absolutely beautiful colour. It's literally the colour of the packaging. And I have been really, really liking this, just for when I want a bit more colour on my lips and to sort of like just brighten up the day. This stuff is fantastic. Really love these. I've got a couple of other shades of this. And yeah, they're really good. They're just really easy to apply. They're moisturising, they last, and just absolutely incredible. And there's some more shades I do want to pick up. So I can imagine me getting quite hooked on these because I use my other two shades quite a bit and yeah, they're just fantastic. So I would highly recommend you check these out and the other stuff from Rita Ora collection because I was looking at the collection and the stuff looks really, really good. So yeah, definitely check that out. And that's it. Those are all of my favourites from the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love you to become part of the Caristy family and I will see you in my next video guys. Have a fantastic weekend and enjoy the sunshine. Long may it last. Bye!